This is adorable. Oh my god, she's gonna leave me on red. <gasps> Bitch. But I am a little bit nervous. Okay, so just a quick OOTD. I've got my black leather boots on. Um, these are from Aldo. They're like this faux leather. Hold on, I have to fix this tag in the rug that's gonna bother me the whole time. Anyway, I have these black leather boots. They're from Aldo. They have this like shiny look and they're like skin tight. I love them. They're so comfy. Then I have on my ladders hoodie because I'm actually starting in this vlog to go and find blanks because I'm going to do a ladders collaboration. It's my little sister's streetwear brand. She made this one. It's a one-off. It's um, like a custom pink tie-dye for me. And it just says ladders in like repeat print. I love it. It's oversized wearing it as a dress. So, you know, I had to do a ponytail, like an Ariana moment, a little clear headband, and then this pink purse with pearls at the top, which I like how it's like sweet and this is kind of streetwear. I was thinking about changing my purse to a black purse to look kind of like badass, but I think I'm actually going to keep the Barbie purse. And we're going to go see what we can what we can find. It's kind of rainy, kind of gloomy, but we're going to turn the vibe around. And have a great day. It's a little dark, but you know, that's Cincy. Okay, so we are in the car. We are, and I always say that. Okay, so we are in the car. We are headed to go get sushi. We're gonna go to Lotus, this little sushi spot that we like, get some sushi, and then figure out what we're gonna do. I think we need some blanks for the Ladders by Holly Nicole collab that's gonna be coming up in a couple weeks, which is so cute. And I'm just really excited to learn to screen print. Like, they're probably gonna be like one of ones, you know? Um, but I want some prints for Mio and some prints for him. Um, and it's just gonna be fun. Like, it's such a cool art form. It'll be fun to know how to do it, how to make your own merch, how to make your own clothes, because I'm so into clothing. So, stuff's falling over over here. So, we are going to try not to show the garbage in my boyfriend's back seat. Oh, it's actually a quilt. Okay. We had a picnic so when it was sunny, so we left the quilt in the back seat. Sorry, Nana. We're going to get that washed and back into the house. Anyway, um, we're going to go to Lotus and get that sushi first. So, let's go do it. Okay, we are having a little brunch at Taste of Belgium. They have this like fake sky. How freaking cute is this? We're gonna get some breakfast. It's about to be fine. Walk past, past the pastry case. They have cheesecake, they have brownies, they have cupcakes, they have everything. So it's about to be fire. We're about to get it, right, Mop? That's right. I'm gonna right? get a birthday cake brownie. Yes, and I even had a pink face mask to match my whole pink ensemble. So this day is turning around, I would have to say. Getting it's turning around, better. right? If they have a latte, then we're really doing big things. Okay, breakfast just came. He got the eggs, the bacon, the waffle. I got the croissant with jam, the eggs, and the bacon. We're ready to go in. It's about to be bomb. Already crushed the cappuccinos. Let's do it. Um, Ooh, food porn, food porn. <laughs> Mukbang. All right, I'm gonna ask you 20 questions. Yep, Just kidding. Let's go. Running high when you're screaming my name. Come on. Oh yeah. So we are at my childhood mall, the Florence Mall. And do you guys remember that like if your parents dropped you off at like the Dillard's entrance or the JC Penney entrance, like you were a loser, like you'd have to walk around to the food court because you have to enter in the food court way to be cool to like make your entrance to see your friends that are sitting there, you know, at the freaking tables, having the Jimmy John's, having the Slurpees or whatever. And if you came in the other way, you're like whack and your presence wasn't known and you weren't like stomping through. I was just telling Clay about that. I was like, we need to drive around to the freaking food court entrance. First of all, I got to pee in the bathrooms right there. But second of all, like you got to make your entrance when you go into the mall. That's it. This is my environmental shot of the Florence Mall straight out of 1992. Nothing's changed. I think they did make the dome a little bit better. It always had a dome, but I think they like updated it with like these rainbow colors. I don't think we had that. Here we go. The entrance. <laughs> Here, you gotta turn around. Ta da! <laughs> I have a ponytail under, so it probably looks crazy, but. So she got the what Starbucks. What is this reflection? I don't know. My phone always does that. No way. 
She got the cool one. What is this? Kiwi Starfruit Refresher. And I got Bang Candy Crisp Apple. And this is the Walmart. To this the is Chanel. the Louis Vuitton. Right. Any girl is trying to lose weight and you're doing one of those diets because I can barely have any calories because I'm like four feet tall. Get the Healthy Pop 100. It's 100 calories for a whole bag of popcorn. It tastes bomb. It's no artificials, no preservatives, no colors, no dyes, and you're filled from it. It's fire. Hey guys, good morning. So I am running a little bit late. Oh, my room's a little messy. I went shopping last night. Um, I'm running a little late, but we are going to go and get a little Botox situation just like so my forehead doesn't move. I haven't had any other like fillers or injectables or anything like that. About like three years ago in LA, I did get a few units in my forehead just because I noticed like I make a lot of expressions and move it up and down and it kind of like freezes it so you can't get wrinkles so we are going to go to zero gravity it's this med spa in my area that's supposed to be really good we're going to check them out for the first time okay my ootd please excuse the shopping bags on the bed but it is some leggings i don't have my shoes on yet i'm going to wear my black thigh high boots some leggings this little gold belt um this kind of corseted looking um leather top which is just like a size too big for me but it was such a cool silhouette that i had to get it anyways and it's got like the big puff sleeves my re ponytail and a little gold headband i've got my gucci b and this little castle gold necklace so we are gonna hit them up in just a second and i don't know if they're gonna let me film yet i did not ask for permission ahead of time like a good influencer is supposed to but i am gonna ask them when we get there and if not i'm just gonna tell you before and tell you after and see if i can get some environmentals of the place and just kind of what i think about it of course not sponsored i'm paying for this on my own dime so i'll give you an honest review it's like a little bit gray out um it's a little bit gray out outside it's not raining they said the sun's gonna come out at like 3 p.m so i'm crossing my fingers and hoping for that i need some sun look at how pale i am uh, my spray tan completely wore off but yeah we're gonna go and do that and we're probably gonna do a little shopping and just have fun get some coffee so let's do it okay so we are on our way i'm a little nervous because i haven't done this in a few years and i feel like it's gonna hurt um but hopefully they'll give me like some numbing cream or something i said i did it once which is true we went to koreatown and i did it once because i noticed like a faint line in my forehead and it make a lot of expressions and that was kind of crazy because i was like literally 24 but anyway i think i got like seven or eight units then or something um so i'm gonna do the same again and it lasts like years i just feel like prevention is really important like i never want to look plastic or weird that's why i don't really have like laying my lips done or fillers or anything crazy you know i might get my lips like a little puffy for fun but i just don't want to look like ridiculous you know i still want to feel like me but i would probably fill my lips a little bit just for fun and maybe get a little bit of filler but i want it to look like very natural and minimal like you could never know that that's what it is so i'm just getting a little tiny bit of botox in the forehead no big deal but i am a little bit nervous and we're on our way there it looks like it's a really cute place we'll see if they try to sell me like the moon because when you go into these places they they want to be like now we get our whole skincare package and then we're also about to do a vampire facial and then we're also about to do this and that so we'll, we'll see if they're nice if they're shady like i'm not sponsored they're not giving me a discount they're not doing anything for me so i'm going to be 100 percent real and 100 percent honest this is big for Cincy. I know this looks just like subtle, you know, like a little blue sky, even a little gray in there, but for that blue sky, oh, we're living for this. One picture right here, no expression. All right, and now the next one, I want you to frown your brows for me. Pull your eyebrows together. Perfect. So I'm gonna have you read over this consent. Okay. What you'll do is you'll read all this, mm -hmm. check this box if you give me permission to use your photos. Okay. Tap here, sign with your finger, and hit done. Awesome. I changed from Botox to the natural, I can't remember what it's called, but she was so sweet. She was just telling me all about the different options and this one's like a more natural Botox. So I decided to switch over to that because I just try to be more natural in general. So it sounded like a good option. 
Um, I'm gonna get like eight units, I think, in my forehead. She was awesome, I'll probably always come back to her. So sweet, let me ask a bunch of questions. A lot of times they, you feel like they try to rush you or like they're not interested if you're doing something smaller. Like, it was not that vibe at all. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. She'll refer out for services that she doesn't do. So, so far I'm having like a great experience. I'm chilled back, I'm not worried. It's about to go good. It really feels like nothing. Did it hurt? No, you need no, and they gave me numbing cream last time. You need no numbing oh, yeah. cream. No, we didn't That's know. That's awesome. It's a little tiny needle. It like literally is nothing. Yeah. You bled a little bit on this one, so yeah. you might have a tiny bruise there, but okay. other than that, you should awesome. be good. Okay, so then I was also talking to her about how I've always had like under eye lines that my makeup kind of sits in. Like if I smile like this, I feel like I kind of have them on the sides. So she said we could just put a tiny dab of that natural Botox, the Xeomin, right here on this muscle on each side to kind of soften that. It's not like a full under, under eye tear trough filler like I want to eventually do, but I'm going to do that to kind of soften it and we'll see how that looks. I'm excited. My forehead probably looks crazy. I've already done the Botox on my forehead. That's the after, so there's a little swelling there. You're good. Okay. Come on it. <laughs> superficial right up underneath the eye so it's gonna sting just a little bit but you can okay. close your eyes for me Not bad. You okay, Bob? Yeah, that one's a little more and it just makes you cry, but it's not it's still not bad. Yeah. Up. Okay, so like the forehead, I feel nothing. It doesn't hurt at all, but that, because she did the little under eyes and I've never had that, it kind of like has a sting to it. Um, but just did that. Gonna put these on so I don't look crazy and got my free panty from Victoria's Secret. Is this TMI? I'm gonna show you what my panty looks like. It's got a cute little butterfly on it and it's totally 90s. Cute. Okay, now we're gonna get coffee. cold in the restaurants and I want to know if I should bring my fur coat in here before going in. Nana always comes here so I'm gonna call her and ask her if it's cold. Hey! Hello? <laughs> Is it cold inside Drake's? It wasn't the other night. It wasn't? <laughs> well, they had a little fan on. <laughs> it was a little cool, I guess, yeah. Should I bring my fur coat in or no? Sure. Okay. What are you doing right now? It'd be now? fabulous. It'd be fabulous, darling. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. All right. We're bringing the fur coat. Getting lunch. Can I grab lunch? Okay. When I first walked in, I thought it wasn't cold. Now that I'm sitting on a cold wood chair, it is cold. So I'm glad I brought my coat. <laughs> so moral of the story is... Always bring the coat. And it is cold, cold at drinks. In drinks. <laughs> we got um, a cucumber, a Philly, and um, tuna rolls here. These are tuna and avocado, and these are crab, and they're a Cali. Okay, so... I'm filming on this shite camera. Anyway, um, I'm, what was I even doing? Oh, I was like, I wanna go out tonight and I wanna like dance in a honky tonk and I wanna be like, spin me around this big old barn. Hey, hey, hey. Am I gonna get copywritten for that? Or are you allowed to? No, you can sing it. Okay. Um, so like, I, I mean, it sounds so much like the original. I don't know. My Nana is a big bar hopper and she's a party girl. So I'm gonna call her and see if she knows a good spot for tonight. I want bales of hay. I want Luke Bryan cover band. I want saloon. I want stomping some boots. Gotta get the dust off them boots. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna call her and see if she has any wrecks. And I might invite her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if she's good. 
<laughs> oh my god, she's gonna leave me on red. <gasps> Bitch! Hold on. Are they gonna turn? Oh! Be careful! <laughs> they didn't even come in here. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Cause you know I got a little dirt on my boots. Kicking the stall. Do a stop stomp. I don't think I did it as good that time. Anyway. Anyway, it was better before, but Donna is still not taking my calls. She, wait, oh, she tried to return a phone call. Hello? Donna Brown. Hey, Holly Brown. Do you know of a place where we can listen to a Luke Bryan cover band and get our boots on tonight? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, huh? Her parking validation. Your parking ticket? No. <laughs> no. What then? No. Girl. I can't she can't breathe. <laughs> can't read. Oh. <laughs> Never learned. <laughs> um. Do you know of anywhere we can do like a line dance this evening? No. No. What about? Yeah, don't you like to have a kickin' fun time at the Country Saloon? Uh, now about, um, Bobby Max? Yeah, how about it? We should all go. Bobby Max? It's haunted. Okay. Do you want to go tonight? This girl. Where's she with, Carol? Carol. This girl is a real crowd pleaser. Hi, Carol. The woman, the myth, the legend. <laughs> you guys want to come to Bobby Mackey's or what? <laughs> hey guys, so we just got home. We basically got the Botox, went shopping, got Big B coffee and came home. But anyway, I wanted to unbox for you a new Louis Vuitton bag that came in the mail. It's really cool. It's this artist from Depop. And look at this pink packaging. Cute. And she, takes a uh, vintage luxury like Louis Vuitton canvas and makes her own like new styles. This one's kind of like a little lunchbox style, which is so cute with like a little chain. Um, so I'm super excited about it because it is the vintage um, white rainbow Louis Vuitton, which is like made super popular by Kara Selton, Lindsay Lohan and Mean Girls, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I've been really wanting one of those colorful rainbow Louis. So I decided to shop small businesses, support my local Depop girls, and give it a chance and see how it looks. So I'm gonna unbox it. It's always nerve wracking when you've never seen it in person. Eh, I'm starting to see it a little bit. I'm Ooh, nervous. Looks oh, good. It looks really cute. It looks good? Yeah. Aw, thank you for your order. Okay, I'll read that later. I gotta open it. Oh, uh, it's so cute. It is the little baby bag. I wanted to get the little baby bag size because I just thought it'd be so cute for like posing and like for outfits. And I don't really like carrying a huge bag around, except I have this huge bag, but usually it's more convenient for me to carry these little small bags. OMG, this is so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh. This is adorable. It has the vintage, um, authentic Louis Vuitton hardware and zipper. And then she put on this new little chain. I also have two other chains for it. Let me show you. This is so cute. I love the shape and the rainbow colors. She also usually sells other colorful like chains. So you don't just have to wear like the white one. Um, but I, she was out. So I ordered two other ones on Amazon. I ordered this pink jelly one which i thought would be really cute and work with like a lot of my outfits and then i ordered this gold plated like crossbody one for when i want to wear it as just a regular crossbody bag and not have to just hold it like a baby bag but i love it i love the little shape i love the leather like it's in such good condition cute wow. i love it Ooh. 
super cute and she gave a cute little thank you card and it says thank you your support means the world to us we hope this package brightens your day cute so i will go ahead and put the store um below the depop store so you guys can check them out if you like them too they make other bags too so they'll make louis in different colors they'll make fur louis um just lots of different designer bags okay this is so cute this is it with the crossbody chain on it absolutely love i'm gonna wear this with so many outfits and take so many instagrams for the summer i just love the bright color like look at it even with my nails love but i think it's probably gonna end this vlog here we're just gonna basically go to the theater room chill watch some youtube eat some dinner oh yeah and we also decided not to go to honky tonk it was closed on mondays and we're tired so we want to chill eat some salmon and kick it it's been a great day and if i don't see you later then peace